Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Friday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on finding a critical number. We're given a function, we're asked to find a critical number. Now, critical number, of course, is where either function is not defined or first derivative of the function is equal to zero. I think of that uh, critical number, the word itself, comes from a thermal dynamics. Anyway, so let's find our first derivative over here and then plus this one is cosine of 2 theta and using chain rule you don't have to multiply 2 again so this is relatively easy and so far we have a cosine 2 theta minus sine of theta when we're trying to get this one equal to 0 and the first thing we've got to do then is set this one equal to function of uh, one trick function. Cosine theta has three forms. It's not important that you remember all three forms, but the top one is the most important one. It's two cosine, two cosine squared minus one, or one minus sine squared theta. The way I remember it is, of course, from the definition. So I'm in a gem, I always go back to definition. Now, as you get more familiar, you know that cosine function is a decreasing function in that in a 0 to pi, it comes down. So small angle is a big thing. I, that's how I remember. Small, small angle is a big thing. All right. Anyway, so back over here, we're going to use the sine one because we have a minus sine theta over here. So I have 1 minus twice sine squared theta. Then I have a min minus sine theta here. Now let's take the minus sign here out. It's kind of annoying to have a minus sign dangling around. So I have a plus sign theta minus 1. 1, 2, 1, 1. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to factor over here. So I have minus 2. And then sine theta, I have a minus 1. Or actually, this one is plus 1 factor with sine theta to sine theta minus 1. Okay, let's multiply out and make sure we got it back. 2 sine theta squared, this one times that one is sine theta and then plus we have 2 sine theta squared, that's the first term, minus sine theta and then I have plus twice of sine theta and then minus 1. So I should have exactly what it back. Check mark. So now setting this one equal to 0, we have two equations. We have sine theta plus 1 equal to 0. It's one of them. Or we could have twice of sine theta minus 1 equal to 0. This one is really saying, look, when, it, when does the sine theta equal to minus 1? This one is saying, when does sine theta equal to half? Both of which are pretty easy to solve. Let's draw a sine curve. Well, actually, before we do that, let's have a math break. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon. Let's find something that's cool and neat to look. My kids have this incredible book. It's called An Incredible Comparison by Russell Ash. Inside it has all those cool pictures of all the comparisons. So mountains of Desert, sand. I don't know, probably can't see the writings, but here's Eiffel Tower. Here's a typical four-story four townhouse. And here's the sand in Sahara Desert. Never been there. One of those days I wish to, I hope to, go visit it. But that's a lot of sand. I've been to Eiffel Tower, but boy, that's a lot of sand. All right, back to math. Let's draw a sine curve over here. We're looking for minus 1 since we're given or we're required to find between 0 to 2 pi. And at minus positive 3 pi over 2, we have one solution. This is minus 1. And at half, we're looking at two numbers, pi over 6. And this point is pi minus pi over 6, or 5 pi over 6. So. This is a half line because we were looking for sine theta equal to half. And what you do is you 
draw a line when sine theta equal to half and wherever it intersects the points on the curve, you have those two angles, pi over six and the distance from the next point cross zero, you walk backward pi over six, that's your next point. So here's our answers, pi over six, five pi over six, and three pi over two. All right, I hope this clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.